So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I showcase to you this incredible musket weapon, the Mario's Executioner Sword, a weapon you've probably got already, but post patch, post 1.04 patch, it is now one of the best weapons in this entire game. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Mario's Executioner's Sword received a buff within the 1.04 patch, uh, which makes it way more efficient in regards to its weapon skill. Now, previously, this thing's weapon skill, once you commit to using this thing, you were stuck in it. So if you miss that target, you're basically a sitting duck until the animation ends. Now, guys, you can roll out of it. So the dancing blade, the E chat dancing blade, the E chase that I don't know how that said. E, who cares? Dancing the dancing blade. So once you use this now, you can actually, guys, dodge back out of it. So if you miss that target with that spinning sword, you can dodge out of it, which is just way, way better. Both PVE and PvP. So I've decided to bring you guys a small build. I've not long put together to make this thing even more powerful. It's based on making this weapon as powerful as possible. Okay, so firstly, the sword, the executioner's sword. Um, now this thing here, what I will say is uh, the items I showcased to you today to make this thing even better. Uh, I'll put guys to each in the video description. I don't want this video going on for 25 minutes, me trying to showcase to you guys exactly where everything is obtained. So yes, if there's something here you are missing, you'll find it linked within the video description. Okay, so the sword itself, I will showcase you where it's gotten from. It's gotten from right up here. So if you come up to the top of the map, guys, you need to have access to the Grand Lift, which you are here. Uh, any grace point around this point, guys, you need to come up here. It's this like basically cut out in the earth. Come up here, guys. Cut up like basically canyons. And then come up to here, the Shaded Castle. And the boss is literally in that area there. But again, you'll find a guide to this in the video description too. But yes, the weapon itself, like I said, it's, it's weapon art, it's, it's skill is brutal now. And you saw that by the clips, which I will state, they're the same enemies I test all weapons on. And I can tell you, this is now one of the most powerful weapons in this game. I won't go as far as I know some people say the super OP one hit build, one hit weapon. I'm not going to go that far. It's super powerful. Simple as that. Also, nothing to mention. Mine is only a plus nine. You can make this even more powerful. You can also apply a few more uh, buffs to a setup with this weapon to make it more powerful. Things like the aromatics and all that. I don't use any of them, but hey, you can make it even better. So the one thing I do, use, well, that's actually a few things, but uh, another thing I do use is the Commander's Standard. The Commander's Standard is a weapon you get from Commander Nile uh, from Castle Soul. This requires 24 strength, 24 dexterity to wield. And what this does is it gives me a weapon buff, a damage buff. It only lasts 30 seconds, but it is quite powerful. And under my testing, I was going with the Golden Vow Seal. Uh, no, sorry, I was using a seal to use the Golden Vow Incantation. Although this don't last as long as that in terms of the effect, it seems as though it's more powerful. So yes, I've gone with this. Another thing I use to actually buff uh, the weapon's uh, attack skill is the Terra Magica and use this with my staff. Now this is only used for real stationary enemies, stationary bosses. I mean, if you're running around an arena, this ain't gonna do you much help. But hey, when you got these applied guys, it does absolute work. Now in regards to um, the crown I'm using is the Witch Glintstone's crown. What this does is it gives me a buff to Arcane because as you can see, it actually showcases to you the weapon scales with strength, dexterity and Arcane. Uh, attributes required are 24 in strength, 14 in dex, and 23 in arcane. And the magic this weapon has on it as standard, guys, as you can see there, it scales with that arcane. Not intelligence, as far as I'm aware, it is arcane. And as you can also see by my stats, guys, I mean, yes, I'm a level 380, but what I try to do is I respect and try to balance it out across the board to make it more realistic. I mean, hey, you could respect spec into the arcane that strength and that dexterity and make this even crazier i mean i could easily do that and max out all three stats to make this even crazier but no i wanted to make it and keep it more realistic for you guys who ain't this high of a level yet so yes the crown as you can see here 
what it does is it actually gives me, I'm not sure exactly how much arcane, it's like only three arcane, it's nothing crazy. Nothing crazy guys, three arcane, quite cool, quite cool. Three arcane, actually three intelligence as well. So that's what I've got that on. In regards to other armor pieces, just going for that fashion show guys, put on what you like here. Talismans, I'm using the Millicent's uh, Prophesis and I'm also using uh, the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. Now these, as far as I'm aware guys, they both come from the same quest line. So in order to have both of these, you either need to go into New Game Plus or have a friend drop you one of them. They both come from the Millicent's quest line, which I will link a guide to in the video description. We then have the Shard of Alexander. Uh, this is great as well, comes from the Alexander quest line and we have the Magic Scorpion charm. This one raises, uh, raises magic attack but lowers damage negation. We have this one here, greatly boosts the attack power of skills. We have this one, greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. And we have this one, boosts dexterity, raises attack power with successive attacks. Now this thing's uh, dancing blade weapon art. Obviously it's spinning and it's hitting multiple times. All these absolutely make it crazy guys. Then we have my flask. What I'm using here is the Magic Shroud and Cracktia, Temporary Boost Magic Attacks, and I'm using the Thorny Cracktia, Temporary Boost Successive Attack Power. These things, guys, all together to boost, make it utterly brutal. And like I said, you can, guys, use aromatics to make this even more powerful if you want to. Now, I'll showcase to you guys what mine can do in regards to its uh, AR. As you can see right here, guys. Well, I've gone to the wrong thing. There we go. As you can see right here, it, my right arm at one. So you can see it's a 721. And if I actually apply all these uh, things to it, you'll see that greatly, that greatly goes up, guys. That greatly goes up. So I'm just going to do my wrong flask. But hey, who cares? There we go. And you'll see now, pressing the wrong buttons again. I am tired. That goes up to 1035. But hey, it gets crazy because this thing actually, it can kind of like just multiplies by itself. So when I'm hitting the enemies and I'm checking out my status, it's actually going up and up and up and up. The weapon's absolutely brutal. And like I said, you saw that by the clips um, at the beginning of the video. Now, also, like I said, guys, this weapon is only a plus nine. You can get this, we can get it max level of a plus 10. If you want to commit to it, that's completely up to you. And again, aromatics will make this even more powerful. And there's probably other things I'm missing out on here as well, which would make it even better. But hey, it is what it is. That's up to you guys to experiment and do what you gotta do. I'm just here to bring you guys a little bit of knowledge to hopefully help you out. But yes, the Mario's Executioner Sword is a beast of a weapon, one I do recommend you getting. Actually, I insist you getting that post patch. It's definitely one of the better weapons in this game. There's no two which ways about it. The way now you can dodge out of its special attack just makes it so much more efficient, guys. And there we have it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully it might be beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.